Dear brothers and sisters, indeed, I feel great honor to come here, no matter how sort of small, but still the name of Nalanda, where you carry the name of Nalanda. And this is not a monastery, but an academic center. Oh. In Tibet, you see many monasteries, I think a few thousand monasteries, uh, I think during Cultural Revolution or before, almost 6,000 monasteries, temples destroyed. So that means you see, there are several thousand monasteries there. Uh, but I am not satisfied that. Therefore, after I reach India as a refugee, uh, not like previous visit here, and previous visit here, you see, actually, Chu uh, Le, Prime Minister of People's Republic of China, you see, supposed to come. Then all of a sudden, you see, he some physical problem. So Chu Le asked me, uh, on behalf of uh, Government of People's Republic of China, mm, you should go there to give that relic to Indian Prime Minister. So, at that time, uh, I was the one of vice chairman, vice chairman of uh, steering. steering committee of People's or the Congress of People's Republic China. Now, this time, refugee. <laughs> so, anyway, at that time, no freedom. Uh, today, I have complete freedom. <laughs> Last now 58 years as a refugee, and at the same time as the longest guest of Indian government. <laughs> so I enjoy. I enjoy India's freedom. Wonderful. So. Uh, Soon after I came to India, all Tibetan monastery, all or I mean the monastery, a monk who already now the among the refugees, I asked them. Uh, it is not sufficient. Simply you should wear monk's dress and carry some puja, puja some sort of uh, what is it, rituals. It's not sufficient. We must study. So, uh, the main Tibetan uh, or say the monasteries among the refugees, then they start uh, uh, study seriously. But not only that, Tibetan nuns, also I, uh, I appeal to them, nuns, in, in the past, I think at least uh, several centuries, Tibetan nun never sort of study seriously. So therefore, unfortunately, you see, there is some sayings or oh, look down, nun. <laughs> so now, the nun should become equal as a monk scholar. I think so. Some of you, I think, noticed yesterday. Now some nuns also now participate debate. You know? yes, oh. In this so, Mahavira, oh. we have nuns and who are doing PhDs. Very good, very good. So last, I think, at least 20 years, 17, 18, 20 years, they study. So now, last year, I give them the highest sort of degree. degree. Oh, for nuns. 
So some of them participated yesterday, like that. So study is very, very important. Why? Of course, I respect all major world tradition, Judaism, uh, Islam, Christian, uh, different sort of uh, ancient non-Buddhist tradition in this country, such as Jainism, uh, Sangya, Rikshita Vakasa. Vaisheshika. All those within, no? we respect. Wonderful. All those ancient Indian sort of tradition, uh, where practice of shamatha and vipassana there, automatically, more explanation about mind, about emotion. So all, I think, ancient Indian sort of religion, Buddhist, as well as non-Buddhist, all, you see, I think, we carry a lot of, sort of knowledge about our inner world, mind, emotion. And then also logic. Uh, <coughs> some of those knowledge masters of writing, we can see a oh, lot of, sort of non-Buddhist argument. Uh, all their sort of views, you see, explain through logical way. So I think in ancient time, Nalanda masters sort of certain there sort of was a particularly in the logical field. The Buddhist sort of scholars knowledge about logic let's say further develop, further develop because of strong non Buddhist because of the logicians challenge. So therefore in, in ancient time you see those non Buddhist sort of uh, Indian sort of non-Buddhist sort of tradition also is a very, very sort of uh, very rich. So now about Nalanda, uh, there are short sort of story, and there are sort of uh, writings I'll mentioned here. So we, uh, you see, uh, do not sort of. Uh, except just big name, oh, great, 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 great. Till we see the text which wrote some individuals. Then we accept, oh, now that author is really a great scholar. Since many years, you see, uh, when I first they met some quantum physicist, physicist. Eventually, you see, I developed some special interest. Then some occasion, you see, we discuss. Uh, so it seems like yesterday, the presentation of Patit Samupand, or similarity of Patit Samupand and quantum physics, you see, it's quite clear. The quantum physicist, now they quite now so they're convinced, you see, nothing objectively exists. Mm. And time, space, this also, you see, go because of the reduction is way. Chaba saying. Analyze. Analyze. Analyze, you see, nothing there. So then the counterfeits usually say, observer. But then, where is the observer? <laughs> Quantum physicist not yet developed, you see, about that. Now, in this country, I think the tradition which you see accept rebirth. So, in order to establish the rebirth theory, you see, the concept of Atma come. This physical, this physical with our mind with, related with this physical, this brain, at the time of death, no longer. So then, from previous life to this life, from this life, next life, uh, part uh, nothing, part of this body, nothing, you see, come from previous or go next. So, concept of ana, Atma. And now, if there is Atma, uh, self, 
besides his physical mind, uh, uh, if we investigate where is Atma? Now one my uh, friend, one scientist, one German brain specialist, great scientist, uh, is a uh, one occasion our meeting, I didn't stop. Good, good. My clothes is quite thin because of hot climate. Now it's too cold. <laughs> so, uh, so the concept of Atma also, you see, if we investigate, very difficult to establish that concept. Uh, so, Buddha, Buddhism, generally, Anatma theory. Now, within the Anatma theory, again, you see different sort of, different concept. So, Vebhashik, Sotantik, Chitta Mantra, Madhyamika. Now, when we comparative study, where? No, when we do. Uh, no. When we study all this, then we can see, oh, you see, the Madhyamika philosophy is something, I think something very, very brilliant and realistic. At the, within the Madhyamika philosophy, Sotantik and Kasa, Prasankika. The meaning is Tanya to Ranze Shiva to Mishiva. So the. Um, uh, the difference between these two uh, sub schools within Madhyamaka is that the Sotantika and Madhyamaka do uh, accept or assert some kind of objective existence of things, whereas um, the uh, Prasankikas reject any kind of objective existence, whatever. So the, Nagar, the disciple of Nagarjuna, Buddha great scholar and great practitioner. Uh, then uh, Chandakirti, or uh, I think Buddha Palita. Then Vavavika, Vavavika, great scholar, top scholar. You see, he raised some question about Buddha Palita's sort of commentary about the Nagarjuna's uh, Madhyamika Mulukarika. So, uh, I was a Vavavika, is a great scholar. At the same time, uh, judging his writing, uh, that great scholar, little bit Kasuta, Chikasure. Kebe. Kevin, I guess, will help you the research. Judging by his writings, it appears that he had this uh, scholarly pride. <laughs> so he raised some questions about Buddha Palita's sort of or say the explanation. Then Chandrakirti come. Chandrakirti, you see, because uh, of the respond, all those critic view about because uh, of the uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So when we study these books. Then you get a clearer sort of understanding about Nagarjuna's sort of view about Shunyata. Uh, so the Baba uh, Bega and, uh, and Shantarakshita also, uh, they you see, find it very difficult if nothing exists independently then they find a little difficulties. Uh, the Buddha Palita and uh, the Chandrakirti are ah, wonderful sort of, con wonderful conclusion is they make. Now that is the level of investigation. Then practice. 
through practice, which philosophical views really going to Kazoda, Kazoda, going to Soro, Kazoda, Ka. Yes, going, going to Soro, going to effect our emotion. So then, uh, combine intellectual understanding and then some experience through serious sort of analytical meditation. It's actually some effect or emotion. So then we can say, oh, is it the Chandrakirti's uh, view? Is it really, I think, uh, what's the ultimate weapon of our destructive emotion? So, as I mentioned earlier, you see, uh, we never say, oh, the uh, Kasajud, what's the day? Oh, Nagarjuna, wonderful. You see, he's a disciple, wonderful. Uh, more like blind faith. If, you, if someone asks, why Nagarjuna is something uh, uh, marvelous? How? Oh, my teacher said that. Nothing. Oh, yeah. oh, who say your teacher is good? I say. <laughs> so, so it's analytical meditation. Analyt in order to carry analytical meditation, uh, you know, the knowledge very important. So first, uh, knowledge from hearing. That's not very stable. Then second level, knowledge through investigation. Analyze. And for analyze, uh, you need books. You see, different sort of because variety. Uh, books explaining different views. It is very necessary to know. Then make comparison. Oh, this view looks good, but if this, from this sort of philosophical viewpoint, when we understand that, when we read that, then some faults, some contradictions you find. Uh, so that's a proper way. So in this respect, the logic, the Dignax text, uh, Dharmakirti's text, very essential. So I'm, of course, uh, when I study these things, I'm very, very lazy student. <laughs> now, even lazy student, you see, get some taste from these sort of writing, from these sort of because of the master. So now these are Indian masters. Indians, Indians, all these are Indian. So after all, Buddhism developed or taught by Buddha in India, not in Tibet. Uh, so Buddhism is one of India's religion. And the recent centuries, I think you Indian, I think the other day I mentioned, you see, you really take, the, you really practice give and take. You Indian, give us wisdom and take our ignorance. <laughs> Therefore now, all these sort of wonderful sort of knowledge or philosophy or views, this must revive in this country. Over a thousand years since the 8th century, Shanta Rikshita, invited by Tibetan emperor, he himself, great philosopher, great logician, so he taught us, uh, you see, I mean, naturally, such a sort of teacher want his student should be like that way, philosopher and great logician. So we Tibetan, generally speaking, over a thousand years, we kept all these knowledge, knowledge, logic, 
uh, and psychology, uh, philosophy, and of course Vinaya, all these things. So therefore, now I really uh, hoping this small institution could be seed of this knowledge with the name of Nalanda. Study uh, seriously. Uh, then, hopefully, I usually make distinction in religion and philosophy. <coughs> and also, you see, philosophy, some philosophy, like Four Noble Truth, directly linked with Buddhism. But true truth and some other sort of uh, philosophical views is something we can consider just an academic subject. So now this as a sort of academic sort of, sort of center institution, you see, should pay more attention about the philosophical field. Take as a sort of academic subject, not a religious subject. Religion, now here it is, the Buddhist religion, meant mainly for Buddhist. But this philosophy, now even some scientists now also now showing interest. So therefore, you see, uh, can easily, you see, the Kasoda, Kasoda, uh, establish at some other secular universities. Uh, so, so, I hope, you see, small student, small number, should be something like teacher's training. Teacher's training. Uh, then eventually, uh, more right. other institution. Uh, I think may start some sort of Kasoda, uh, department where uh, or study this ancient Indian thought as an academic subject, not a religious subject. So that I want to to share you. So uh, I made clear your purpose. Now whether you achieve or not, up to you. Yes. I'm leaving. <laughs>